Hong Kong style cafes known as Cha Chan Tings are such a big part of life in Hong Kong that a local legislator once called for them to be enshrined as UNESCO cultural heritage. And in what's seen as a testament to their enduring popularity, shares of restaurant chain operator Tsui Wa made their debut in Hong Kong today. And in an exclusive interview with Channel News Asia, chairman of uh, the chain, Li Yen Hong, told Patrick Falk just how he plans to tap the tough mainland market. Over the next three years, Cho Wa plans to open 22 restaurants on the mainland and 11 more in Hong Kong on top of its current 26 outlets. From humble origins as a lone cafe in the gritty Mong Kok district, Cho Wa's rise has gone hand in hand with the rags to riches story of its chairman. Thrust into the business, aged 11, Lee learned to cook and rose through the ranks before taking the helm in 1989. <laughs> What I have in front of me here is one of Cho Wa's signature offerings, champagne milk tea. Chairman Lee came up with the idea of separating the ice from the tea to better this old Hong Kong favorite. And if signatures like these can take off in the mainland market, no doubt Cho Wa will be toasting its chairman's innovative spirit. But cracking the mainland market is no piece of cake. Rivals from Hong Kong who've tried have made little impact. Rising labor costs and soaring rents pose added challenges. Against a backdrop of global uncertainty, many have questioned Lee's decision to list. If to instill confidence among consumers in a market with a murky record on food safety, the company will introduce its central kitchen model to maintain quality control. While many believe Cho Wa is expanding too fast and too aggressively, one report noted the sales value of the Tartan Tang sector grew from 9.1 billion yuan to 24.8 billion in the last year. For Mr. Lee, the timing is right.